G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the announcement for the theme of the October 2015 challenge of the month. And with Halloween fast approaching, this theme is a little spooky. To participate in this month's challenge of the month, you'll be required to create an illustrated depiction of a monster. And this monster has to follow a very few specific parameters. To help explain these parameters to you, I've created a very simple concept art piece, which is my own depiction of the monster. Yours might be a little bit different. And this monster has been named with the help of the Twitch chat in my last live stream, The Grimator. The Grimator is a large monster at 2.5 meters tall, almost twice the height of a full grown man. The Grimator is black in color and has scales for skin. He is a humanoid bipedal body, meaning he stands on two legs and has two arms, though the proportions are up to you. The Grimator has a hulking muscular build and has a tail and horns. The Grimator lives in human settled areas. So it might be in a cemetery, in the middle of town, under basements, in closets, whatever it is, it's up to you. And the Grimator hunts and and devours human souls. So those are the parameters. So I'll hit you with all of them once again. He must be large, 2.5 meters tall. He must be black in color and have scales for skin. He must be humanoid bipedal, stand on two legs, have two arms and hands, and be very hulking and muscular in his anatomy structure and build. He must have a tail and horns, live in areas settled by humans and devour human souls. Those are the parameters and around that, I'm interested to see your creativity. Your depiction of the Grimator could be a creature from early civilization or the 16th century. He could be in the modern day and era or he could be somewhere in the near future. Where he is, what he's wearing, the setting and the lore of the history and the background of the idea of this monster, its depiction, its time and its style, it's all up to you except for those parameters. Your monster must follow those rules that I mentioned before. So to enter this challenge of the month, create your own illustrated depiction of the Grimator and in whatever setting you feel is appropriate and provide a little bit of a history and lore and background and uh, ideas behind it in the description, not too lengthy, maybe a paragraph in total. The Grimator must be the centerpiece of your illustration. It can't be too obscure. You must show off the Grimator, whether it be in a simple character pose in an environment or interacting with humans, the choice is yours, but as long as the Grimator is the feature of the piece, we can see him clearly and you give us a little bit of background in the description, then you're good to go. We're gonna jump quickly through some rules. To be eligible to enter the challenge of the month, your piece must be uploaded to newgrounds.com on the art portal and your artwork when submitted must include the tag Grimator. There is a maximum of one entry per person. Your piece is to have no sexually inappropriate material or anything too violent or grotesque you can have a bit of blood and gore if you want, but just keep it within reason, keep it PG-13. And you must submit your artwork by the deadline, which is Saturday the 24th of October. And a few final notes, these challenges of the month are open to all ages and all nationalities. Any prize winners will have their prize sent to them and you're 99.9% .9 sure to be able to receive the prize. So you should be good to go. And speaking of prizes, let's get to the fun stuff. The first prize winner will receive a medium Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. This tablet includes loads of great features and is a professional quality digital tablet. Make sure to click here for more info on more of Wacom's awesome products. The first prize winner will also receive any item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The runner up will receive a copy of the awesome art compilation book 21 draw, as well as a Stillman and Burn Epsilon series nine by 12 wire bound sketchbook with the front page drawn on and signed by me. The runner up will also receive a choice of any item from my jazzastudios.com shop. Everyone in the group of finalists in this challenge of the month will receive a free copy of my artwork archive, which includes all of the high resolution images of artworks that I've produced ever since I was 12 years old, including all of the recent high definition digital speed paintings and all of the optimized and scanned high resolution results of the let's draw and character design videos and images from my sketchbook and a whole bunch more. So hopefully they will in 
enjoy that. And then finally, we get to the Encouragement Award, which is an award that goes to an artist I feel has made a good improvement or made a lot of effort and ambition in their piece. And this is regardless of their level of technical expertise. Their prize includes a copy of a signed book by Christopher Hart, the best-selling How to Draw author. They'll also receive a Stillman & Byrne Epsilon Series 5.5 by 8.5 hardbound sketchbook with the front page drawn on and signed by me and finally any item of their choosing from my jazzastudios.com shop. So that's it for all the prizes. Those are the parameters. I can't wait to see your depictions of the Grimator and uh, to see some of your creativity in uh, the background and lore behind your creature. And remember a little creativity in the description that you make about the Grimator and their history and lore and setting might count a little bit towards who, who is featured and selected. But do keep it within reason because I will have hundreds and hundreds of entries to go through. So no more than a paragraph, please. Good luck artists. This is a challenge of the month I'm extremely excited about. And make sure to share your progress on the Newgrounds forum thread, which is linked to in the description. And of course you can share your progress and your final submissions on Twitter and Instagram and whatever else using the hashtag Grimator because I don't think it's taken. So let's commandeer it from no one. And then last but not least, there is an info page on jazzastudios.com linked to in the description, which answers all of your questions, goes through everything I've gone through in this video and has an FAQ. So make sure to check that out. Good luck participants. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see new content every week. Check out more of my stuff by clicking the annotations over there. If you want to support my work and get a few goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, and get yourself something nice. If you're looking for a great place to collaborate, explore, or share your own content, head over to newgrounds.com. That's it for now, and until next time, see you later.